show you the accessories that you can put onto your nails without having to be really good at art or if you've not got a steady hand or if you're okay doing it with your right hand onto your left hand or vice versa but you can't do your other hand then stickers and uh, water decals are a great way to go um, you've got the peel off stickers which just come off the card cut to the size that you want or pull off the little piece that you want individually and you stick them directly onto your nail or there are water ones where we need to cut out the shape that we want uh, we'll pop it into some water until it releases itself from the paper and then we can attach that to the nail so I'm going to show you uh, both of those today and I'm going to use these which you may have seen in another um, video that is all the um, sample colours from the Beatles Mermaid Mantra set. So seeing as I've got these already I thought um, save using any other tips I may as well be frugal and use these. So there's some beautiful colours in here and I've got lots of um, stickers that we can try against it. But I also want to show you while I'm doing it that you can incorporate these stickers in with other designs as well. So, um, I'm going to put some foil on one uh, and then I'll show you it with the sticker as well. So what we need today is your stickers of choice, whether it be 3D stickers or the um, water decals. And then... I am going to be doing it onto this top coat. These were previously top coated. Um, so they should still stick absolutely fine. But it, normally you'd be able to do this onto normal nail polish or gel polish or whatever. Um, and they'll, they'll stick fine on either. And then once they're on there, I'm then going to put a coat of base coat and then a coat of top coat. So obviously if you're using the UV, uh, then you need to have got your light handy. We also need some sort of flat saucer or little dish. Um, that's quite a big small dish, but that's all I could find, a trifle dish. Some scissors, because you're going to want to cut them out um, when it's the water ones. So you'd cut out exactly what you want to be using. Some tweezers is going to make it easier uh, to pick them up and pop them on. And then you don't want to be putting any water decals onto your nails covered in water. So... I've cut a few little strips of this good um, kitchen paper, paper towel, whatever you call it. <clears throat> right, so I'm going to make a start with the stickers and just move these things out of the way. I'll bring that water back in when we use those. I'm going to try and stay in shot, so I'm really sorry if I... If I don't, but I'll, I'll try my very best. Uh, and I'm going to start on this one, this pink one here. And uh, I'm going to put some foil on there. So let's pick, let's pick a foil. Something delicate and pretty. Um, yeah. Okay. So I think that'll do it. So I've got that. Yeah. Right, so I only need a tiny little piece of foil. There we go. So whatever you stick your foil on, get that handy if you if you want it to incorporate. But here for stickers, so I'll not forget that. And I'm going to do this as a strip down the side, so. I think I'm going to go for that one. So there you go. You get a big card like that, but it is only that big usually. Tiny little, tiny little thing. Um, so I'll leave that for a sec. I'm going to peel off that sticker when... Try, try that against it. 
yeah why not i'm going to peel off that sticker when we're ready so first things first <clears throat> i'm going to use the uh gel perfection now this is not if you just put your colour on there, you would have got your tacky layer. So you would want to clean that off or put a matte top coat on it. And because <clears throat> you don't want this foil to stick to any part of that surface. So I'm just going to paint the foil it down half of that now. And we'll just hope I've got a steady hand. Um, you can use striping tape to lay down it if you want it doesn't matter that much that this edge isn't like spot on because i'm going to be putting the sticker down it as well you only put that on thin right and cure that for however long you're product says right so that's been in the lamp and we've just got the foil glue down one side of it and then this is going to go i mean obviously i've got a straight or straightish line i've cut there um if you particularly wanted to make sure it's a straight line you can always use that which is like a salvage edge um but i'm happy with this because i'm putting another sticker on the top after and then we just place that on rub it um, I think by now I've probably uploaded another video that's got foils on anyway um, so I'm using my nail you can use lint free wipe or a bit of your uh, paper towel they're a godsend aren't they paper towels just make it it makes it smoother for the rubbing uh, I always um, rub longer than I need to I think but you'll see it's starting to lift off look it's starting to come off there so I'll just make sure the edges are on oh I'm pulling my nail off my, my stand it's probably easier on yourself yeah. so that now wonky nail which is going to fall off there at some point uh, has got that floral just down one side then we'll start with the sticker So, I'm going to line up with this how long a piece I want to use. Which one am I using? Change my mind. Oh, yeah. I can use that third one now. Uh, so, measure up to it how far you want it to be from top to bottom. So, it's about one, two, three, four, five, about six loops I want on there. So turn it to the side. Oh, it's come off. Turn it to the side where you can feel it. Get your tweezers, uh, and I want it to go that way on the nail. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I want it to come to about there. So if you bend that over at the top. It'll just release that top edge. See? So that's just released that a bit. So I've just got to pop this down so I can lift that and cut where I want. I don't want to pull the whole thing off and waste the other half of it. Oh. Using my left hand is not perfect. A bit. So I want one, two. Three, four, five, six. So, let's save those. And this is going to get stuck down the nail. So it's sticky anyway. Don't need to put anything onto it. I'm just going to rest my arm. Just to steady my arm a bit. These others are going to get in the way, aren't they, obviously? So... I hope you're in shot. So, 
just going to push that down. Make sure that's attached. You'll need your tiny little manicure scissors. Cut this so it's just a little bit short of the edge. That's it, and then your top coat will cover it. See, I'm going the other way. Covered in these little bits, which I've done. So I'm going that way. I don't want that going over that edge. You can clear them, clear them off the edge with the bitter acetone if you want to. So that's that. Then we've we've got a pretty little lace and floral design. So that's how you can combine there. You could have done your own artwork down here if you wanted, but that's easier. So I'm just going to base and top coat that and that one's done. Right. So that's that one there. That's not going to come off anytime soon. Pretty. Now I'm going to use this. Um, if you'd got a nail that was um, ombre down from almost black um, to brighter blues or you'd done a swirl sort of galaxy or something like that, then some stickers like this would be perfect. Um, you can, if you wonder, if you get a card through and you think, well, I don't know. I mean, the title of these uh, on eBay was Water Decals Stickers Slash. So they use one title and then put all these in as different ones for you to pick from. So you might get them and think, well, I don't know which is which. Well, if they've got a loose sheet on the front and the back feels papery, they're probably water decals. If it feels like a bit of a plasticky finish on the card, then the odds are they are um, stickers that you peel up. But if you're in any doubt at all, just pick one and uh, try and pick it off like this. Well, if you bend that down. It'll loosen the edge. And there it is. Can you see it? So these are stickers. Right, what I'm going to put on here, go back. Uh, I'm going to pick a few uh, bits and bobs. I'm going to go for um, a moon. We'll have uh, this one. So it's the moon with a few stars around it. And we'll pop that up there. Get it right because um, if you just touch it on, and it's it wrong placement try and pick it up before you push the whole lot down uh, and then i'll have some extra little stars a few bright bright shiny stars like this one once you bend that card over they're quite easy to pick up then can you see these in this light? So we'll have that one there. And a couple of more bits. Uh, oh, I'll have another little constellation look. That one's even just stuck to that one side though. Duck, I mean look. So put that down across that. Right. New one? Come now. Uh, and then put it down. So push that on. Lovely. And a little paper. Just to make sure it's all pushed down. Mm. 
don't use pay-per-view isn't it on a tacky layer obviously but that's going on top of the top coat or you could have wiped you wiped your other layers down so that's that so same again we've got a design on there and we haven't even had to paint any of it so base coat and top coat just to give it plenty of layers because it is slightly raised slightly 3d that's that one right uh i'm going to use what do you think i'm going to use this very pale greeny yeah and i'm going to put the apple blossom on that so what i need to do is to cut out one of these um, it's got a plastic sheet on the top you can pull away as much as you want or you can just take it off because uh, I'm going to pop it back in the plastic uh, little baggie that I've got anyway but I want that one for right you see can you see with the shading the bit that's gonna attach to your nail just runs very close to it on the outside can you see that shiny yeah see the shine of it so i'm going to cut it just slightly bigger than that so uh, uh, without cutting the one at the side of it that's that one and then i want a longer one that one so let me eye that up so that i'm going to put this one at the bottom about there and I want the longer one coming down so look out where you tilt it so you can see where your glossy bits are you can always cut through that if you don't want it that big if it's a design that's too big and you don't want a bit of it so that's that so i've got my two bits one there uh, and the other one i've lost already we're looking at it oh yeah you're probably screaming it's under your tips <laughs> right so i'm going to bring the bowl of water in and all i'm going to do is drop those in so i'm going to Drop that in there, and that in there. Can you see it curling up already? Get in, don't matter if you sink. Probably an indicator that it's nearly, nearly cooked if it's sunk. So I'm just gonna check that that's gonna come off. Are you coming off already? Yeah. Can you see it sliding off on my finger? Oh. Right, that's a, that's a fail because I've folded that up. Folded that up, haven't I? Can I unfold it? Yeah, slide it back on. Yeah. Slide it back on and you're all right. So what I'm going to do is I want to get some of that wet off. There we go. Right. Slide it onto my finger. There we go. Pick up. Which way do I want it that way? Pick it up whichever way you like. They're very, very delicate at this point, but I want to dry that off underneath a little bit. So I'm just touching it onto that. You don't want a lot of water on your, on your nail. And I want it down at this bottom. So like that. It will still slide around at this point, but I wanna just put part of it down 
And then I'm going to push the rest of it down with this because I want to squeeze out any water that might be underneath it. Okay, so pushing it down with that. So I've pushed any water out of it and dried it off at the same time. So that's that one done. Oh, it looks pretty against that blue, doesn't it? Now I'm going to get, get this longer one. Come out. It's already lifting off the paper, this. If I can catch it. There, look, can you see it? It's already sliding off. So I'm going to slide it onto my finger. Get some of the water out of it. Where do I want it? I want it to come down the nail. So I'm going to pick it up. Like that. And dry it off. I'm going to pop that on the nail. Slide that down ever so slightly. There. That's it. And dry it off. I tend to slide away from the inside to the outside so that I've not um, got any creases in it and I've got rid of any water. That's that one. And I decided I'm going to put a little butterfly on it. Uh, if I can find it. Where are you? Here. Yeah. I'm going to put this tiny little pink butterfly on. Take a minute. Well, a few seconds to be honest. All right, let's see if that's ready already. No sliding off. So it slid off there already. I have known people pick that up with a stamper, uh, which I've not done as yet. So I'll stick to it this way first. And I want this to lower that way up. These tweezers are absolutely pants. They don't tweeze anything, look. Just sliding straight through and that's only as thin as paper. Oh, 
god. Alright. Where should we have it? Uh, I'll have it on there. I made that harder than it actually should have been. A, tweezers are rubbish, and B, I stuck it to my finger. So what I should have done is just picked it straight up off the paper and got the water out of it this way when I put it on. That's a bit of a trial and error for you, isn't it? Uh, so that's that. I'm going to do another one now just to show I can do it. Um, I don't think it hurts to leave in the mistakes, does it? Because then you'll learn from them as well. But that's that. So, base coat, just to give it, you know, ample, uh, and top coat, and then we're done. How pretty is that? I'm not even had to lift a paintbrush. Beautiful. Yeah, you'd have enough for a full set of nails there for that card that was a pound. And then that. Lovely. And the lace. This nail has suffered because um, I was using acetone when I was practising yesterday and I buggered that one up. So I'll just sort that one out and I'll be back in a sec. Right, I've decided on these. So I'm going to have him coming down the nail, but just off to one side rather than down the down the centre. So just make sure that it's long enough for the nail that you want to put it on before you start. And then this one's going to go on the middle nail. Um, I've got that wrong way around. That's going on that one and that's going on that one. Uh, but off to the left hand side. So yeah, that's long enough. And then I've cut the corresponding out to go on the other. So we'll do this hand first. Oh, wait a minute. Take that, take that paper off it. That plastic covering. There we go. Go on. Drop that in. So I thought I would just slip onto this where I'm doing the thumbs save you watching the whole uh, episodes of doing my fingers and uh, this is the last two that I'm applying I really do need to invest in a better pair of tweezers um, or slide it straight onto your nail from the paper that might be an easy way anyway I thought I'd just show you me uh, actually applying some to my own um, fingers I got a bit fed up with this French and uh, I've actually changed them again since then and we've gone some gold glitter so I'll see if I can get that one uploaded for you. Um, thank you ever so much for joining me again and joining me on Facebook and Insta. I'm getting very young and trendy being on Insta and I've got lo loads more people now to follow and to watch so that's fantastic and if you've been lovely enough to subscribe thank you so much I really do appreciate it and don't forget to leave me a comment uh, or a photo on Facebook. I'd love to see what you're up to. Love you loads. Bye.